Well, everyone, there is another little bit of an iPad issue, which is very rare. Usually we see, you know, issues with iPhones, with Androids. Now iPad OS kind of has its own drama right now, which can be fixed very soon. So I'm going to let that out of the way. But here's the thing, and this is coming from 9 to 5 Mac, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people already reported this. Essentially, it's telling us that iPad OS limits the iPad Pro power and essentially only allows apps to have up to five gigs of RAM each per app. Now, at first I was like, okay, well, that kind of makes sense a little bit, but I remembered that, you know, the iPads, only the M1 iPads right now, have the options of doing eight gigs to 16 gigs of, of option, which is so crazy. So imagine this, you can split screen multitask on iPads, which is great. And that was one of the bigger concerns, but it seems that even if you max out, you know, the five gigs and you do split screen multitasking, you can only do two apps at a time and that's only 10 gigs. So you still have another six gigs of RAM that you can use. So there's really no point of getting, you know, the higher end 16 gig of RAM option for an iPad, even an eight gig of RAM base model for an M1 iPad Pro, if you were talking about sheer just RAM, because you can only get up to five gigs of RAM for each app that you have. So you can never really maximize the amount of RAM that an individual app will have. Now, of course, this will help if you want to load up more apps in the background and you want to, you know, bring them up. So there's still an advantage of having more RAM, but a single app can really only get five gigs of RAM as of right now. So that's kind of an issue in my opinion, because it really decentivizes people to, you know, get a, a more higher end model because theoretically the amount of power that you can get from one iPad to the other, including the M1 ones are is not really going to matter. You know, if they can only get tapped out of five gigs, it doesn't matter if you get the eight gig or 16 gig option. If you're just trying to get as much power from a single app, you're going to be getting the same type of power. So there's really not that big of a difference. However, it does make sense to me because previously on the, you know, iPad Pros from before, they only tapped out at six gigs of RAM. So it does make sense. I mean, you know, if you only get five gigs of RAM, you don't want it to have the whole entire thing. So it does kind of make sense to me at that point. But as of right now, I mean, the M1 iPad Pros goes up to 16 gigs of RAM. This is a massive issue. Apple really needs to go ahead and focus on this and release an update that can go ahead and allow these developers to, you know, get more RAM from their device, you know, when they're testing and when they're developing their apps. Now, on top of this, WWDC is right around the corner. So Apple could be pushing out an update for this. So hopefully, you know, by me making this video, spreading awareness and other people making these articles still talking about it. I mean, hopefully it does come out to, you know, Apple fixing this because it's a massive issue in my opinion. And if Apple doesn't fix it, well, there's going to be some issues, I'm sure, for people wanting to gain more power from, you know, their apps on their device. So take it as you will. But that's essentially it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button. That means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my other channels more importantly everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then